Right, so this is a video about my carbon lag cell, which I made about a week ago now. And I'll show the construction shortly, but it's basically a lead weight from a car, a car wheel, and a carbon rod from the inside of a dead battery. And immediately it had 1.138 volts on it. And I made the mistake of charging it, trying to charge it up with 5 volts from a converted PC power supply and ended up with a bit of the carbon on the bottom which wasn't a very good idea if you check out Yolgurup NP's channel, that's Graham in Australia then he does a similar experiment and he showed it without forming so it's better to not even form the things I've charged this one today with 130 milliamps on a 2 volt solar panel and 1.565564 is what we've got on it and you can expect 60 milliamps uh, as I say 3 teaspoons Epsom salt and a Phil's bottle of distilled water I use this type of Epsom salt here and uh, there's enough there for years isn't there also I notice a saline laxative so hey can't be bad right so I'll connect up to this motor and show you it running so, there we are there Oh, this circuit is a, an SS1CC uh, Smart Creations 2010 came up with. And we've got one of these rotors, which is a bit like one of Magnet Man's rotors. Oops. And we'll start it up. And when it is starting up, voltage has gone down to 1.14 there, going down, going down. But when this rotor spins up to full speed in a few seconds' time, it'll shoot out to the side and the voltage will go back up on the cell there we are, shot out to the side and now we've got 1.136 stabilising and we'll begin to climb <laughs> should do the thing is, these cells they hit a plateau and they don't go anywhere so about 1.1 volts is the uh, the minimum they will go to. You see now it isn't dropping anymore. Now I've had this thing running for hours and it wouldn't go below 1.1 volts. Interestingly enough, before any charge, this cell actually was at 1.138. There we are, spinning away. What I wanted to show was when I disconnect, you see a 1.145 disconnect, and you'll see the recovery now that the circuit's been switched off. And you can see the recovery of the cell is pretty strong too. Right, so now I'll uh, unplug this lot and I'll show you how the cell is inside. Okay, there we go, there's the internals of the cell, so there's the wheel weight of lead. And you can see there's a very slight browning and blackening of the uh, of the lead. But not what you might expect from a forming process, and as I say, I don't think it's, need it's necessary. But there's also the carbon rod as well, which you can see there's in pretty good condition. This has been used for about a week now. It's charged, discharged, charged, discharged. These things are excellent and I thoroughly recommend them. Very, very simple cell. And you'll get about one and a half volts and 60 milliamps. Okay, thanks for watching.